This is really important. What he's saying is, all right, you want to make Tawbah now. These are the three things that are going to keep you resolute in your desire not to return to wrong actions. And this is a science. So what he's telling you is, this is how it works. The first is that you flee from that place that you fear going back into your wrong action. So if your wrong action, if somebody's making toba from kabair, it's pretty easy. If your wrong action has been relations with the opposite sex, whether it's zina or the muqaddimat of zina, you had girlfriends or whatever or vice versa, then what you have to do once you make that tawbah is to avoid the places where those things occurred. So if you're at the university and you met people at the cafeteria and there was mixing and people know you, you leave that place. You don't go back to it. If the ma'asi occurred with alcohol, then the company that you were keeping, you stop keeping that company. You avoid them. You don't spend any time with them. You don't go anywhere near where that temptation is going to arise. That's what he's talking about. And obviously, that gets more and more subtle. If you're trying to relinquish backbiting and you find that there are certain people that you tend to backbite with, then there's a couple of things that you can do. One is you make a contract with that person that you're not going to backbite anymore. Or two, you avoid them altogether if they're not capable of doing that. The second is اتهام النفس بوجود بقايا النزوع إليه حتى تكون على حذر منه. To suspect the soul or the ego, the self, to suspect the ego that remnants of its inclinations towards that thing that you are trying to remove from the self is still there in order that you can maintain your vigilance against it. So you've made toba from the thing that you're trying to avoid, changing yourself. You look at yourself. What are the things you want to remove from yourself? What he's saying is you feel contempt towards those things, but they're appetites because that's the nature of wrong actions. They're appetites or we wouldn't keep doing them. People have appetites towards these things. What he's saying is suspect yourself. Even though you've made toba, still consider yourself that it has inclinations towards these things. Don't say, Alhamdulillah, I made toba. I'm not worried about that anymore. No, he's saying don't trust the self. Suspect the self. Ittihamun nafs بوجود بقايا النزوع إليه حتى تكون على حذر منه وإلا وقع فيه قبل الشعور بسببه أو وقته or else the same thing's going to happen and you won't even be prepared for it it might even happen without your being aware of it because you've gone back into your heedlessness or the time that you did it الثالث so that's the second thing الثالث إشغال النفس عنه بما يقابله حسا في الحسيات ومعنى في المعنويات دون تعريج عليه لأن الوجه الذي خرج عنه لأجله أولى من الوجه الذي خرج عليه ولذلك قيل يتعين عليه كلما ذكر ذنبه تجديد الندم عليه فليفهم فهم. So the third one is to preoccupy yourself from those things. In other words, what you're trying to remove, occupy yourself with other things. If it's his, if it's a sensory thing that you're trying to remove, then do it with other sensory things. If it's a meaning, do it with other meaningful things. And this should be without doing this in stages or steps. Because the means by which you get out of something, in order to get out of it, this precedes what you're getting out of. In other words... That thing that you're trying to get out of, once you're out of it, that's the most important thing, to be completely out of it. That should be your priority. And for that reason, it's an obligation that every time you remember your wrong action, to renew your remorse about it. To renew your remorse about it. So understand this. And then he says, 